Hey all, welcome to the fifth location of the Lord of the Crown story. Looks like a really old castle. Anyway, so we were heading towards some mountains or something where we had to uh, destroy the crown. And in the way we have this white castle. So since it's under attack, we will have to save this castle somehow. Let's figure out. The volcano just erupted. Is there a volcano inside the castle? There are the minions on the left. There is a door behind them, but I think that is accessible later currently it does not look so okay we just threw a stone on one of those goblins and he just died or killed or ran away whatever we can't proceed further left so we'll have to go right this way was not possible we'll have to climb up the stairs but before that, there is this hat which has something. A sword. That is probably something we will need in the future. Somebody might ask for it. We just got it right now. She has an arrow, so maybe we need the sword now. There are two more houses here. Okay, there are multiple swords. Let's see if we have another one in the other house. Cool. So far we have three. I don't know how many we need. Looks like a really good castle. Some houses are built on top of hills or walls. total we need 8 swords we have got 3 here is the 4th one so each house probably has one and total 8 houses are there Each house also has some food, so Diggy is very much happy with that. Not very much because it's not a lot, but anyway, anything is better than nothing. But not every house has the food. This was the seventh sword. We have just one more to go. Right, let's see. Let's place the swords there, and we can now proceed. We have a pretty large army. The goblins must be afraid of us. Destroy the whole city is the order of the evil. It, that stone fell over the goblins some of them died and we can move that stone and you know get those two tiles up there So 
so let's enter the deeper part of castle i think we had entered once earlier this looks like a similar wall similar gate anyway this is a very big castle there are so many houses inside it we actually need something the girl might tell us what we need but we are entering the house already so some bows and arrows this is one we might need multiple of them like this horse so let's see how much i think two will be it we already got the bow we just have to place it on the mark let's see what this house has as well just some material boxes nothing else all right let's proceed with saving the kingdom we still have a long way to go 741 tiles is pretty big location Do we need again something because there is another house which we can enter the 300 gold tile must be a pretty precious jewel in one of the higher regions so if you are collecting one of those you must enter this house negative energy okay so how do we collect the negative energy there is probably only one house which we can enter up here so that must have the negative energy let's try and find it or just get it it might be negative but i'm not what you're looking for okay so it was not in this house This one is a house that looks more of a castle or something. But yes, yeah, something more dark and something that might contain negative energy. Him the light on the red spheres. So we have a lot of fixed hinge pillars. Only a few of them are movable ones. Let me just clear out all the ties, then we'll figure out the mirrors. Okay, let's start. First off, we probably don't need that movable mirror. We can destroy or neutralize one of the red spheres without any movable mirrors. The others might just need some movable mirrors. This one is a movable one, but we can't simply take it out. But yes, we can put it here and rotate it to aim it at that one. right so we have just one more for that we will need a movable mirror up there we can't take it up we will somehow have to reach it with the fixed range mirrors i am not even exactly sure how is that even possible Let me try going backwards. That will that way it will be easier. So only this mirror can reach that red one, and it's accessible through this, this, and finally this. 
so yes sometimes a forward gets difficult you can try going backward and you might just find the solution so with all the spheres neutralized do we have the black energy a uh, negative energy that energy worked wonderfully a lot of the goblins were just destroyed or something there is one on top which you will probably throw that stone down on it should be going down there but before that let me kill that goblin some tiles and let's proceed We have some goblins and some stones. If we just push the stone over that edge, it will roll down and kill the goblins below it. There is one similar down here, for which we will need this stone. I don't think it's even mandatory to kill all the goblins, but it just gives you a hundred experience, so that is like kind of a bonus. Okay, so this part is completely blocked, and we'll have to clear the path. And by clearing the path, we mean placing the stones on the marks. Right. So what else we need now? X. Another level to kill another goblin. Another hundred experience. Here is the eggs we need. Uh, we probably have to kill that goblin just for a bonus, though. Anyway, since we have the eggs, let's put it there, and we will just get rid of all those goblins. So, time for some more negative energy. Sorry for that sound. Somebody, some kind of vehicle is making that outside. Anyway, so this is just extra part. Don't need to come here if you are not digging all the tiles. I'm going to kill that goblin with this stone. So negative energy must be in that tower. He had a similar tower earlier, which had negative energy. So this negative energy is what is keeping the death riders going. And powerful. Neutralizing this will just get rid of them. Not get rid, but weaken them so that we can destroy them. So we have this movable mirror, which can be moved only to three sets of places. 
let's start with the first place first this one looks like more complex one we have four sets of spheres one of them is already neutralized so where should we go next we probably have to move the mirror nothing else can be done with this mirror combination uh, yes we can neutralize one more with this combination the second one is done again we can't do anything with this combination time to move on to the third neutralizing this one as possible with this combination also but that is not what we are looking for we'll probably go to the top this mirror is possible in two places with this place we can neutralize this and for the other one the other place so sounds great wasn't that hard but there we go so now let's go back outside and defeat the death riders we are pretty much done with the location as well the goblins are killed or something and the leader just escaped but we have won only the white castle war we still have more wars i think all right talk to golem in the next location is that i'm not sure about that but anyway we have something in that mind probably maybe there is golem and not in the next location after so here is the creature golem So he knows the shortcut to the mountain we are seeking to visit. And we also have a surprise. What surprise is that we will find in the next location. For now we just have a few tiles and then we are done. Okay, we probably have another underground area in this mine. Looks like a secret area or something, or uh, that just took, uh, took us back outside. That's what it looks like. But we had a few tiles missed here. Somehow we missed them. Probably we were not able to enter here at all. Uh, we are still not done with all the tiles. I might need to use the last tile finder. Okay, I'll just try to go ahead and use it instead of wasting time. Okay, here are the four tiles. Anyway, so we are done with this location. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.